Guys, it's your boy Cam, back with another video, CTB, Cam Talks Boxing. Let's get, are we getting closer to the Fury Usyk undisputed fight? For all the belts, December, Jeddah, let's talk about it. Yes guys, so obviously I've heard the recent news about the Fury Usyk clash more or less being close to done. Just need to agree, just agreements on the location and revenue have, um, venue needs to be obviously decided. And that's actually come from Frank Warren's own words. That's their Frank Warren's own words. So, I mean, look, it's big, it's, it's, it's great news. Like you wouldn't, Usyk only just, only just fought this past weekend. So the fact that it's getting talked about and getting done quite swiftly shows that, well, number one, Usyk's a free agent, which really helps and shows that there's not many issues or obstacles within the negotiations between Team Fury, Queensbury, Bob Arum, and then obviously Usyk's promoters. Um, so I think it's, it's fantastic news. Honestly, if we can get that for December, I think that's a, that's obviously a nice little Christmas present for us all. But um, yeah, Fury with Usyk. Obviously, some people are saying it's Usyk v Fury because we think Usyk's the A side. He's got obviously the Ring magazine now. He's got the more belts and pound for pound is number one. But I think Usyk still he he's 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 come up to heavyweight. That's Fury's division. Fury's the best heavyweight in the world. Fury's the bigger man, he's the bigger superstar, worldwide superstar, and Fury's the A-side, so it's Fury Usyk, and wow, what a fight that would be. Let me know what you think in the comment, guys. What do you think about the trash talk in that fight? What do you think it'll be a weird one, because Usyk's just a hero now, isn't he? He's not really, he's never, he never plays the villain. Will Fury be the villain, or will it just be quite a lot of banter? Will it be quite a funny build-up, and will we get just a really amazing world-class technical fight like Canelo Triple G1, Canelo Triple G2? Will we get that type of fight where it's just two absolute elite world-class fighters just going toe-to-toe -to -toe or boxing, you know, or like a boxing masterclass for a really technical fight we could get? Um, so I think it's interesting. Obviously, I can't see Fury like being like the old Fury where he's obviously quite like, brash and you know some of the things it says are controversial so I think it'll be really interesting but for me I think it's interesting to see I think if it happens it will happen in Jeddah um, or somewhere else in the Middle East um, it won't happen in UK it won't happen in Cardiff in a way because they won't be able to put the money up for it um, but guys I think if I can get confirmed and within before September or within the next few weeks I think we're in for a treat, Undis we'll get an undisputed champion, and um, yeah, I'll put the question out there, if whoever wins that, would, would there be pound for pound number one? I think Usyk, a lot of people think it's pound for pound number one anyway, so if Usyk beats Fury, he's not only pound for pound number one cemented, like, without a doubt, he's also in talk with one of the, he's also going to history as one of the best heavyweights of all time as well, especially, well, definitely this generation. So, um, but if Fury wins, I was speaking to someone today about it on Twitter. I think he'll definitely be top three pound for pound, in my opinion. Um, who else does he have left to beat? Maybe AJ, but I think a lot of people think Fury beats AJ anyway. So, I mean, look, guys, I just thought I'd just do a little quick little video reacting to the news. Um, how, how, obviously, um, for, I, I, I'm, going, I'm team Fury. I think, I think Fury's just too big. I think he's got the boxing style as well. I think he's got the power. I think he, he's got the inside game. I think he's got the dirty tactics to wear Usyk down and stop him late. Uh, I think he's just got so much to his um, arsenal. Um, I think AJ kind of showed signs of how to beat Usyk. You need, you need to rough him up, um, hurt him to the body, um, and really put it on him. Uh, but unfortunately, AJ just didn't have the gas tank, and that's one thing Fury does have, an amazing gas tank. He doesn't get tired. Um, but yeah, let's hope it gets confirmed, guys. Video out.